Everybody, and today I'm going to talk about some news I've been hearing about all throughout social media and of course the Super Bowl. And uh, yeah, let's go talk about it. First, I'm going to talk about Beavis and Butthead because on Paramount Plus's Instagram they announced that they're going to do a new movie that's coming out just July, hopefully, and newer episodes of the show. That, that excites me because. As you know on this channel, I'm a huge Beavis and Butthead fan, and to hear this news it amazes me, because I thought they wouldn't do this movie, and this would technically be a sequel to Beavis and Butthead Do America, but it probably won't be similar in plots, as we saw in the concept art, but it seems like it's going to be like a story of Beavis and Butthead if they're older. We always wondered what cartoon characters are doing if they're older, like Spongebob or Dora or whatever, but Beavis and Butthead, who knows, because they've always been teenagers. And that's, I'm excited. Yeah, I don't have Paramount Plus, but but uh, I'll maybe find some ways to watch this. But I just, I really want to see what they're gonna do. It's probably gonna have the same exact hu- humor. Because I know a lot of people aren't really that big in the Beavis and Butthead. The show is divided, but I I love it. I watched it when uh, during the summer. And that's how I fell in love with it. Because I didn't know much about it until uh, all those few months ago. And uh, I hope it's like a just still a good story. Even if Beavis and Butthead are older. And Butthead looks like his dad in that concept art. And Beavis just Beavis just looks older. <laughs> and uh, maybe you'll see the great Cornholio in, in this movie and the newer episodes. I don't know what the newer episodes are going to be about. I just... I hope it's just, just like the show. Maybe some sprinkles of new things. Because they should try some new stuff. Because why not? New is good. So, uh, yes. Next, I'd like to talk about Seth Rogen's uh, Ninja Turtles. This is this photo's buzzing around. And uh, so far, it looks good. It looks like it's going to be a good tribute to the 80s show. Like a love letter to it. I don't know why they don't have the 80s show on Paramount Plus for some reason. But... I have a good feeling about this because they kind of remind me a little bit of the movie Turtles. Now, I'm not the biggest Ninja Turtle movie guy. That's my hot take. I do like the 90s one. The other two were okay. Um, the 2007 one was also okay. But those 2014 ones, mm, I don't know. Those, they just, I think they put too much work into those. Those versions of the Turtles. But the cartoons, they're amazing. And seeing this come to life, because I hope this is like a good, proper way to do a Ninja Turtle movie. Because why not just do an animated Ninja Turtle movie for once? And yes, I know I said earlier about the 2007 one, that's animated and they did Batman vs. Ninja Turtles. But come on, when have we ever really gotten something that looks like this? Like, look at that, that's awesome. It got Raph, he kind of reminds me of the 2014 one where he got his headband like on his head. Donnie looks nerdy with his glasses. And they look like teenagers. They actually do. And Leo kind of looks like his 80s counterpart. And Mikey, well, he's Mikey. They're eating pizza and there's a techno drone. So we're going to get Krang. Maybe Shredder. I don't know what that armor is in the back. It's probably Shredder's armor. But uh, I look forward to it. And uh, yes. I'll, I think this will probably come out in theaters. Maybe. We don't know. Maybe a streaming service. Paramount Plus. So um, yeah. Next is the Doctor Strange 2 trailer. Now this, this excited me. I was kind of disappointed too because they didn't really show much, but that probably means they're hiding some things that we don't want, we do want to know, but but the directors and other people working on the movie know. Because, I don't know. Some people are saying we're getting Deadpool in this. Ryan Reynolds said no, but um, he could be lying. It's like Andrew Garfield. Oops. Sorry for that. No way, home, no way home spoiler. By the way, I'm obviously going to be talking about stuff like this. Like spoilers. We're kind, it's kind of obvious what, they're, what we might get. And this this trailer was cool. Like, we we see multiple Doctor Stranges. We get this the zombie one. I don't know if it's the one from What If. Probably. And we get like this, this other one with like this wacky looking hair. And different suit or whatever and we see Scarlet Witch but there's two for some reason so uh, we're gonna see Scarlet Witch Unleash and we see a bunch of other wacky stuff so yeah this looks like it's gonna be a fun movie and here's a major spoiler I think in the trailer we cyclically see 
Possibly Charles Xavier from the X-Men movies or 90s cartoon. I don't know. We That could be any character played by Patrick Stewart. I thought Patrick Stewart would never return to Marvel because he's, he's a lot older now. And I thought he'd, be, he'd finally leave that legacy behind. But no, it looks like he's returning to Marvel. Does that mean we could see Hugh Jackman's Wolverine? Maybe. I mean, we don't know. And uh, yes, this is a cool trailer. Maybe I'll see this in theaters. I definitely want to see it. It's it's obviously going to go on Disney Plus. But uh yeah. That's what I thought of the Doctor Strange 2 trailer. It's going to be a wild one for sure. And we also saw the Moon Knight trailer. Uh it was just a little teaser. I look forward to Moon Knight. It comes out mm, at the end of March, I'm pretty sure. Look forward to that as well. Uh the Obi-Wan show. Now, we didn't get a trailer, but we got this awesome poster. Now this looks amazing. We're seeing Obi Wan struggling on Tatooine. We just know what's gonna happen. We're gonna see Darth Vader, even though they have it on the cast list. Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader, or whatever. I mean, you can't have Darth Vader without Obi Wan, like they said in that little teaser thing. Well, they obviously said Obi Wan can't have Vader or Anakin or whatever. Honestly, I hope we get like flashbacks of the Clone Wars. With Anakin, Obi Wan, like live action or whatever, and Ewan McGregor looks like he's gonna kick it out of the park, playing a uh, middle aged Obi Wan, as he's struggling on Tatooine, and uh, I can't believe it's coming out May twenty fifth. We didn't get a trailer, but it's say they're saying it might blow our minds. Honestly, it probably will. So uh, I look forward to the Obi Wan show. And next we got Star Wars Old Republic. Now, this is a Legends game. It's a RBG or whatever. I tried to play this game, but I just couldn't. And But we got this awesome cinematic trailer. Like, back then, we got awesome cinematic trailers. And this, this just looks awesome. We see Darth Malgus return. I was wondering if he was in that Star Wars Eclipse trailer, but probably not. But, uh, but we got this. We saw this twee-like Jedi with a pink lightsaber. Like, pink lightsaber, when have we ever seen that? And, uh, yeah, it was kind of reminded me of the vibes of that one cinematic trailer. A few of them. I look forward to seeing if whatever they're going to do with this. So, But so far, this looks like a cool trailer. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have to talk about for this recent news. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.